this exercise is going to work the abdominals, the lower back, the glutes, the hamstrings, triceps, a little bit of traps and rhomboids. So it's really a total body exercise. The um, important things to talk about when we talk about the form for this exercise is that the foot placement and the shoulder placement are properly aligned. This is mainly an isometric movement, so that means it stays, um, it stays still or the muscles stay the same length um, instead of a lot of range of motion with this. You can do range of motion exercises with this, but it's better to do it as an isometric. So the first piece is that we want to keep those feet about hip width apart. Um, they're nice and relaxed. She shouldn't be too far out with the feet and the feet shouldn't be too, uh, too her heels should be close underneath her. So she's got somewhere to go. Her hands should be placed down on the ground. Her shoulders should be relaxed on the ground. She wants to press her palms and her triceps down into the ground. And as she presses down, she's going to lift her hips up towards the sky. So here, what we are doing is we're engaging these hamstrings. We're engaging the glutes. We're engaging the upper part of the body. But we're really trying to keep our abdominals in line and nice and tight. So when we talk about the abdominal bridge, it's really an articulation of the spine. So she's going to roll herself back down, all the way back down, tucking the tailbone, and with intention, she lets it go down. I'm going to stand her come back up real quick. So her, um, her, her other, the other thing she can do with this, the modification wise, is that if this is bothering her, she can hold it for 10 seconds, she can roll herself back down, and then she can come back up. So there's always a, ch uh, a chance for intervals here. So she can, if this bothers her lower back, because sometimes lower back issues, tight hamstrings, um, sometimes shoulder issues, people have trouble keeping this position. So if there's any way that um, we can ease up the position by taking her down and back up, that's going to help with any injuries or modifications for this. Um, as far as cueing from the instructor standpoint, you want to make sure that um, your campers are driving their heels down into the ground, that they're squeezing their glutes and hamstrings underneath them, that they're not peaking their hips. So you don't want the ribs to crest here. You want to keep the ribs down, keep the abs in line, and the hips, knees, and shoulders are in one straight plane here. The last cue that you want to talk to them about is their upper body. Are their shoulders engaged? Are their triceps engaged? Are their palms engaged? If they're not engaged, they're going to feel like their hips are going to be wobbly, that they may lean to one side or to the other, and that's typically how you can tell if you need to cue the upper body, is if you start seeing someone leaning from one side to the other. Ab bridge is a great exercise to do at your cool down. It can also be used in an isometric warm up because it's so total body. It uses the core, it gets the hamstrings and the glutes involved. Um, but I would use this uh, at the end of your workout and intersperse it with some abdominal work. You may do some ab bridge and you may do some sit ups and may do some obliques. So that's the abdominal bridge.